Okay, you guys are in for a treat tonight. It's five years in the making. It's going to happen, right? That's what you just got to say to yourself. It's going to happen, and then it happens. Remember how I used to talk about opportunity? Well, I'm the one that has to make them happen because they never come my way, so I'm going to make them happen. Here we go. All righty. One, two. Uh-oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold that tiger. Hold that tiger. Hold that tiger. I got it. I got it. Okay. If that camera's right. I don't know. I'm telling you, this has taken some time. We're going to make things happen here tonight. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Let us go. Here it goes. Ah. You see it? Is it working? Awesome. As my friend Al would always say, awesome. You are in the trailer code RV. As people like to call it. We got some uh, voice there. Cool. I'm telling you, this is five years in the making. There you are right there. I got this screen over here, so I'm getting a little bit mixed up. I'm telling you, this is some swanky stuff here tonight. This took a while. So the cable came in, and we have a cable that's actually running all the way from my office here. That's crazy, but I can't wait for someone to put... It's hotter than heck blazes in here because I don't want a lot of sound, so I cut off all the, the power system to run the AC. But we'll get through it. Uh, let's see. Yep, I got that, and I got the fresh battery, so we'll see if this lasts. And you're on the GoPro, so the high-end camera. The lighting is a little dim because I wanted to show you how cool this is. Welcome to Trailer Gods. We're up to, gosh, I don't even know. Uh, was it the 7th today on a Thursday? 8th, can you believe that? I'm a day late and a dollar short. The 8th, June, 2023. And I'm so excited to be here. This is uh, seriously five, uh, about five years in the making to get to here. You know, you can get some great pictures of the uh, pilot. Well, what we thought was going to be a pilot and some and some uh, prototype stuff and some design set uh, stuff on the trailer code website under live streams. You'll see uh, this whole thing set up in a very cool situation with uh, some other uh, trailers in kind of a camp setting uh, foe uh, inside of a, uh, a warehouse and that, the warehouse uh, on the other side of the property here and so that was uh, really cool and we'll do that again and that was just a, a test and uh, go on the website you'll see some great pictures i have a ton of uh, footage a video from that and that will be really neat to review sometime too so welcome everyone to trailer gods uh, tonight's the start of a, a new uh, type of uh, uh, format uh, for one day a week. I'll do definitely one day a week inside here. I have a number of trailers that, um, you know, they're the companies, but uh, whatever. Uh, this one here, I did a partial uh, restoration. I redid the inside and I uh, did uh, most of the mechanical uh, um you know, fixing up. We're going to lose some uh, power on the light. So let me show you how this thing looks. And then I have to dim them down and then we'll go back. So bear with me. Here we go. This is way too cool. Get ready. I'm telling you, you're in for a treat. So this is a 19. I tell you, go on to that website, Trailer Code. Uh, go on to the website, Trailer Code. Got it? And you'll see, uh, you will see the... Um, the let me figure this out here i'm uh, losing train of thought you'll see some of the yeah they're on there you'll see in the bio and everything and projects of the restoration of this unit and then you'll see on the live stream it's set up in a really cool way for us to enjoy it uh for the show itself it's way cool but let me show you this this is the uh, cab area here so this is a 19 1978 if you like living in the, the 70s right which i do Oh, that's all cool. So 1978 is great. Uh, Pace Aero Motorhome. And I'm losing some of the light, but this is just incredible. So <clears throat> you have uh, some really 
uh, vintage pieces here. These captain's chairs are just incredible. Uh, look, at there's your drink holder in the old days, about a half inch deep. Uh, way cool. And then you have, uh, you're not going to get my sound, so i got to give you some sound here. I'll keep uh, with you. So that's the, where the console is and uh, the, the main captain's chair there. Uh, way, way incredible. Has the curtains and everything. You're losing a little light. I'll add a little light here for you. Hang tight. Just ought to throw a little light on it. No, doesn't look like it's going to, but that's all right. Uh, let's see if I can get a little more here. No, but I'll, I'll pull some out. But anyway, the engine is right. The engine is right here. Okay. So that's where your engine is. And what else do we have? I, I didn't plan this out very well. Sorry about that. As you can tell, I'm bringing them. Uh, which now are starting to lose uh, power, so I can't really run the uh, lighting on it. But uh, these are your uh, uh, little breakfast table here. I have a breakfast table here where I'm sitting, and I'm able to... Uh, uh, enjoy a table here this has a leaf to it and it pulls out all the way it's way cool i mean this rig is just incredible uh, here's the uh the these are actually wood with fabric over on uh, blinds okay and then i have covers over the windows to really keep this thing uh nice and dark inside but this is a 70s pattern here on the couch i'm losing some light so let me uh because our 12 volt system's shutting down so I'm going to bring a, a little power with me, and let's get to the back. That's where you come in, right there on the door. If you guys haven't ever checked out uh, vintage, uh, if you haven't ever, I mean, look at how I'm doing this. I'm, I'm having to carry everything with me. Uh, but if you haven't ever checked out 70s uh, RVs, it's it's a treat. You know, if you're into that, I love it, actually. I love all the wood grain. It's way cool. area here oh man is that just beautiful look at this stove hardly ever used i love the black uh color uh you have your light right fan in there that's beautiful vents up top and then you have here a wonderful uh it's about as far as i'm going to be able to reach uh given the fact that we're going to be uh, getting out so uh really cool lighting i'll set this here for a second maybe we can throw a, a, a thing for you here hold on maybe we can do this if i can make it happen look at this little reading lamp there this is your bathroom here it's beautiful i'll get a longer cord so that you can see it uh, better next time but just give you an idea i built that uh, right there that's a nice uh, table for uh doing the show and these are curtains here that open up little light swanky light even has a nice little in the old days uh 12 volt uh, tv look at that tv wow i love it so there you go that's uh, kind of uh, how that all works now i'm going to reposition the camera so that we can get some other light in here and put it back so everyone's still okay do i still have you Sorry about all that. I know you're like, what the hell is going on? I know you're saying that. You're saying, what the hell is going on? Oh, look it. Now the light's all back. This is crazy. So now you can get a better shot. So here we go. Good. Okay, I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna bring my uh, microphone with me. Okay, so isn't that beautiful? Wow. That dash is like seven feet wide. You get plenty of room in there. And then that's a step up right there, too. So you step here. How that looks. There's a lot of tension on this. Let's see if you can see. Yeah. Okay, get ready. So I kind of just step in here like this, right? Swing my foot over. Right? And then that point, you, you can call, you know, CB radio. Oh my gosh, this is too fun. And then you have, uh, in the old days, you even had one, except, look at this, tilt steering. So you can sit back, you put up the handlebar, armrest, 
and you are cruising. I'm telling you, we will get this one out on the road. It runs. Uh, and we'll do a live stream with this big beast out on the road. And this one has all the advertisement on the outside. It has Billionaire's uh, U.S. tour, book tour. So that's way cool. Uh, we'll be able to show it off. And everyone will be there. All the subscribers are going to give everyone's name a big shout out when we're out there driving. This thing is just way too cool. You got to read the story about it. I have it online on Trailer Code. You can check that out. Isn't that beautiful? Man, I love this thing. It has a drop down bed right here. Uh, that's what this is right here is a drop down bed. Uh, the couch turns into a, a sleeper, right? So that's that's two persons so far, right? And then you have, uh, hopefully everything is, is working, guys. You know, Sorry, sorry. The reason you want a sink insert on here is so that you get more counter space. A counter space is a big deal, and uh, you never can have enough counter space, right? That's what they always say. So you got to have that. If I can reach down there a little farther, I'm going to try. Bear with me. Bear with me. Oh, okay. So you're still good. You're still good. I think that's about as far as I'm going to go. I'll get a longer cable next time. And I know we were looking down here, but that's about as far as I can reach a little more. So there's your TV. I built this cabinet down here. This is all new. And this had another bed. Uh, this had a bed uh, right here uh, would be to your, my left, your right. And that was just like this one over here. But since it's just me, uh, I said, I just need one bed. And then remember, we have the other two sleepers up front. Uh, this was a desk. I love this desk. And this is a beautiful birch right here. Uh, sanded down and lacquered. Look at the, how, all the grain in there. Is it gorgeous? Man, I love that. And then this is 70s wallpaper of the day. So this is what you got in the 70s. It's just incredible. I love it. You'll see a couple of wrinkles here over the years. And that's what you can do is use a, a water... Uh, steamer and then that pulls them back out and then you you just spread it to uh, uh, spread it evenly again so here's a here's a little thing for you all the little features back in the 70s and most of you most of you, you kids there are younger than i am but this is what i grew up with so again these uh these shades here are actually made out of wood you can see that these are wood slats and then they cover them like with macrame or all that stuff that you used to see, you know, back in the, you go to a Goodwill store and you'll see this. And that's all uh, thread. <laughs> it's a great, and those are all the, uh, the rust, orange, ambers, uh, southwest colors of the, um, the 70s. 70s was real big in orange and brown, uh, beige. Those types of uh, colors were really big. Look at this. This is a cup dispenser. And I didn't have time, but I have some cups from the 70s that go in here. And they're kind of like the Partridge family. If you ever look that one up too. Uh, colors. It's great. It's like psychedelic colors. Back in the day, Dixie Cup made those. And here, look at this. I got a stove light. And you even have the fan for when you're ready for my wonderful masterpiece cooking. So yeah, cabinetry here. I'm going to show you some very special cabinetry because this does not exist too often. I'm going to show you something really cool. So hopefully you're being able to...
me. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to turn that on for a second. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We'll go over here. You see these cabinets? There's no, there's no handle. There's no handle on these doors because they slide. As a great, so there's a wheel behind each corner here, and they roll up. These are rolling doors. And everything in RVs, uh, not everything. Uh, higher end units will do a lot of detail engineering and uh, to make all of these little uh, space saving. Number one, sound deadening. Number two, that's why you'll see carpeting in there is because it sucks up a lot of furniture. A lot of carpeting sucks up all the uh, stray sounds that are being vibrate, uh, vibrations and sounds. Look at just how beautiful this cab is here. Man, these seats are, you know, you may not like them, but they're in beautiful condition for the 1970s. Uh, this couch is very low. That's how they were in the old days. They would put these couches extremely low on the ground. When I got this thing, it didn't look like this. I had to actually go back and figure out exactly how it was supposed to look. The original carpeting, carpeting was lost, uh, was worn out, and, and uh, they got rid of it. There are a couple of pieces underneath some of the cabinets, which are still there. It's a fire, a deep, kind of like, um, I, I like to use the word hell fire. It's a deep orange uh, color. That's what the color was in here. The brightest deepest orange you could imagine which is my favorite color uh and that's what was uh that's what was in here so i was like okay we'll tone it down a little bit and i went with kind of this uh, sagey color kind of a silver sage beige color and it's beautiful that color is beautiful and it doesn't pull away from everything it lets everything else kind of it doesn't overpower the the unit um what else do we have so these couches were very low back then and this was actually on a five to six inch lift this couch and they were older people so older people have a hard time getting down for a couple of reasons uh but getting down and then having to get back up can't do that they don't like that so i took the frame out underneath that was built and i was like i'm gonna put it on the original frame and so it's nice uh, sunk down low so you feel like you're in a club i like that here's your breakfast table this is a drop down table right here Okay, so that table goes down, and uh, and so that makes the, uh, another thing is you want things to be convertible and or the other word is portable inside. I'm trying to make sure that I'm I'm good here with you. Yep, uh, inside the uh, the rig. Okay, and that's in, that's important. Uh oh, yeah, that's important because you may have uh, you know family over or whatever, and they need a lot of space to do whatever they got to do. So you need to th have things that break down. Uh, they call it convertible or portable. So uh, these table, this goes down. This table here has a leaf. It actually goes all the way out, if you could believe it. And this is solid. That's a solid piece of wood there, uh, with a formica on top. And then this goes in and slides in that slot. And it's, it's not like, you know, fantastic science or technology. It's just that they went ahead and, and did these these things with actually nice wood here. This is beautiful wood. And it's still, I didn't do anything. I didn't even refinish it. And it was in beautiful condition. So I was happy about that. Here's another thing, too. These are the original seats. And it comes with one, but not the other, with a with a little flare back, you know, the, the match to there. That's the way it came. I'm pretty sure that's how it came with well, with only one, not two. And I thought, well, that's cool. I'll just leave it like that. Again, you have these uh, beautiful cabinet doors up here, uh, storage compartment doors. You're getting a lot of uh, light, but these things roll back and forth. Very quiet. Uh, just beautiful. What else? So that's about it. I put a little runner here. I went ahead and put a tile floor in. Uh, uh, there's the lighting going down again. I put a tile floor in so that uh it um it doesn't track up everything because the kitchen area not that i'm going to be cooking anything is going to be uh, a place where you're not going to be wanting carpeting right and if you notice that toilet was supposed to go all the way in the back there i can't get down there i really want you to see the bathroom but we'll have to make that to the next time i'll get a longer report uh and so the the toilet is removed because um i use a, a portable uh, I don't like all the, the, the sewage tank underneath and you have to dump it and baloney and blah, blah, blah. It's just a, a bunch of uh, 
S-H-I-T. So I went ahead and removed it, and I have a portable that goes in there when I'm ready to hit the road. It's really great. Uh, Save space, and uh, it's great. It has a shower, so that's nice. We'll show it to you next time. Fun things you have. Look at this a vintage clock for the era. Uh, that's out of the 70s. I love that clock. You get a little thermometer here. Way cool. And then uh, I think, oh, here's your AC. So great AC. As a matter of fact, you like one AC? Well, you get two. It's badass. So let's get on with the show, but I wanted to show you this. And then the next time we'll go around the outside. This thing is, is I can't reach out there yet. Uh, maybe I, I don't know if I can or not. Yes or no? Come on. What's it going to be? It's like meatloaf. I got to know, baby. Let me know what the answer is. I got to know. What's it going to be? So, yeah, I'll end up uh, just messing everything up. If you go on the website, trailercode.com, you'll see these the pictures of this rig, and it's beautiful. Um, so, uh, check that out under the live stream, or I have, uh, and then the bio of, uh, or the projects of me fixing it up. Okay, and Jimmy, he was my mechanic. Now, Jimmy hates me, uh, is, so, I, you know, I said something, and then, so he, he's all been out of shape, and he doesn't want to talk anymore. So that's some good drama. We'll get into that as to how that's supposed to play out, because that guy's a character, and you definitely want to see Jimmy. Uh, he was in one of the videos, the last video with the one with the lady with the purple hair. You got to see. Uh, and are we good? You got to see Jimmy in there. You don't see much of him. Uh, I'm telling you, this guy, he's funny as heck. And we do a lot of deals together. Now, the last year we have him because he got all bent out. But I'll get him back in somehow. And I say, you're going to be cracking up. That guy is funny as heck. Uh, uh, it's funnier than heck, I can tell you that. I think I have uh, weird things in drama. If anyone knows me, if they've heard me talk about Jimmy, they'll be like, oh, oh, oh yeah. And you know, that guy's straight up. He's a good guy. Oh, there's the lighting going again. So let's cut some down here. Okay, I'm going to put you back. Here we go. Hang tight, guys. You guys all get a star. Everyone gets a star because you're all troopers. Super troopers. Okay. I'm going to put the tape on here because it's going to fall. All right, here we go. Hang tight. I'm putting tape over you so you stay in place. Isn't that great? Okay, I know you're like, this is the craziest show you've ever seen. Well, it's going to get crazier. How about that? Let's see. Am I in? Yes. Okay, it's a little dark. Don't worry. It, it comes and goes. So what we'll do, watch this. You're going to like it. I'm going to go ahead and open up a blind here. Open up one of these. There we go. Look at that. Did that make things happen right there or what? Voila. That's all I know of my friend. I took two, two and a half, two years of French and that was it. Okay, here, let me get a couple of uh, of the things here. Uh, these are chats real fast. And I want to thank everyone, all the subscribers, thanking you. Mucho, mucho. I appreciate you all. Look at, I can't figure this thing out. Okay, here's some chat going on right today. Who's checking in? Uh, Matthew, hey Matt, way cool. Thanks for checking in again. 1978 Pace Arrow. This lighting is just crazy. Now it's full blast. Uh, my son is checking in from Idaho. I, I'm about ready to lay a big surprise on you guys from Idaho. I love my son and he's up there watching right now. So I appreciate him very much and I love him and miss him dearly. We're going to be going to Idaho. I'm not telling you why. If this thing goes and I pull the trigger and I and I'll, I'll just let you know. There's some big stuff right about ready to happen uh audio is out uh oh audio is out when you started pointing to the light sorry about that uh looks like the audio is back on okay so can I, sorry about that <laughs> yeah it does look like a train car hey rc's checking in good okay so thank you so much guys i want to say thanks to everyone on facebook everyone on twitter everyone on twitch rumble youtube of course uh, we just, I, I can't do this show without you. And the only reason I'm here is because you guys are here as well. We're almost, uh, we're getting a, going a little slower, but making every uh, one count. Everyone is, uh, is hugely important. And so we're getting near 800 subscriptions, which is fantastic. So that's going to be a, you know, a little uh, near term uh, goal. And then to a thousand and things can happen at a thousand. So we're almost there. So please, uh, you know, do what you can to share, like, and subscribe to this show tonight i mean this right here 
I, I just can't tell you. Look at this is just too way cool. If you were sitting on this couch, we would have a couple of now. Maybe you're not a drinker, and that's totally fine. But I mean, you'd have a rum Ricky, right? You'd have a uh, uh, you'd have a, a for me, it's a seven seven man, just right. A peach blossom, all those ones, those are just great drinks. But at any rate, you just would have a great time. It's just a way cool, chill out place. So our yard has this unit in it buried here. This should be under cover. There is a cover on. I have to change them out all the time because they wear out and I don't want anyone touching this thing. It's crazy. And, and it's surrounded by a bunch of racks outside. So people are always stealing parts. So knock on wood, I haven't had it yet. But once I get the warehouse uh, finalized, then I can get this back in and, and protect it. But we have a lot of rigs out here, a lot of units. We call them units. Rigs are usually what you drive, but a unit is another term for a, a trailer. And so uh, we'll be going into, I have a number of um, personal trailers. So I'll be, and they're all vintage. I only like vintage. That's how I roll. I don't like the new stuff. So we'll be going into different ones during, uh, for the shows to give you a little flavor. And I know I'm four months into this program and, I, and, and we're just now getting here, but I'm telling you, there's so much good stuff coming. Uh, it's just, I can't even, I'm, I'm giddy over it. Right. Okay. Tonight, <clears throat> there's a couple things. Let me back up. You know me, I'm all over the board. Had an interesting person approach me today outside. As you know, if you read uh, if you read some of the stuff that's going on, about I would say a fifth, that's one slash five, of my day is uh, dealing with uh, the homeless. Uh, um, and that's about as easy and simple as I can put it. So I'm I'm dealing with the homeless, and that can be anything. It could be emergency, all hands on deck. It could be uh, they're coming in to uh, maybe say they're going to get parts, but they don't have any money, and maybe I help them out or not, whatever, that's fine. Uh, or I'm going to hear a story, or they need to get cleaned up, or they need to get uh, some food or water, whatever. So I tried to help them out, even I try to help out as much as I can. So today I met one outside. Uh, his name is Lawrence, and he's a very interesting person. I'm going to have him tell his story I offered. I said, if you want, uh, today was not a good day to do it since this was the first time in here and I knew something would probably go haywire. So I didn't want to uh, uh, have something go wrong and then I have a guest here, whatever. But when I do these shows from now on, I want guests that are very important and have something substantial to say. Are you guys getting the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Just got to check. Remember the past, this whole thing would shut down. We're doing pretty good so far. Remember the... I told you I bought two new batteries. So uh, the general ordered me these batteries right here. This is some pretty cool stuff. You get everything on Amazon. I don't like that. Unfortunately, I have to buy it from. But at any rate, you get these. Uh, it's like a cube, and then it has two batteries inside. And you charge the whole thing. Out. It comes with a light and a USB. So that's cool for me. But that was, uh, it appears, that was the problem with uh, the batter with the camera. I can't believe I didn't buy it. And you know, as uh, Jamie told me, hey, so Jamie's watching too tonight. And my sister's watching too down in uh, South San Jose. So we appreciate her as well. I believe Grayson and uh, also and Eden, very, very special. And the general are all watching. So thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Anyway, so Lawrence is uh, an interesting guy. I'll give you a couple tidbits of it. Uh, he's recently, recently out of uh, incarceration. And remember, I, I had a show just the other night. Oh, there they go. Uh, I had a show just the other night. You know what we're going to do one of these nights? I'm going to build a platform on top. So we'll have the show on top, and you can watch. So that will put us over the fence line. And it'll be like uh, when you go to those race car events, right? And you're in the pits, the center of the track. Uh, for instance, uh, when I go to Las Vegas to watch uh, Indy or NASCAR, whatever, they would go around the circle. And if you're in the middle on one of the RVs, you just watch them go around. It's, it's amazing. Well, we could do that here and you can watch all the action. I'm being nice, but you can watch the action happen live, real time. And it happens. You don't know what's going to happen or when. Uh, you're lucky your safety behind your, the, your computer screen there or your phone. Anyway. Lawrence uh, is straight out of, uh, you know, penitentiary. So 
uh, he's got a, uh, an interesting story. And that's all I'm going to say. And so I was like, well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I don't know if, what I can do for you because he needs a lot of help. Uh, but I go, why don't we put your story out and see what can happen? And I'm not asking anyone to do anything, but I'm just asking him, you know, share your story because that's what happens. Remember I said Keith Farr Farazi was at uh, my son's uh, uh, commencement, a keynote speaker. So I agree with exactly what he said is like, you don't make it through life by yourself. People help you. And so uh, he's pretty impassioned, pretty uh, sincere, pretty uh, straight up that he needs a break but he's willing to do anything for it. And I like that sound of it sounds good. So hopefully we can have him on the show as well. We're going to have some other, uh, hopefully notable, noteworthy, uh, you know, speakers or persons that I can interview. And that will be part of this show too. This is where I was, I wanted to get, uh, you know, my feet on the ground, uh, used to the whole thing, my style, and uh, I'm not going to change it for anyone, but they're going to, if they watch the show, whomever it is that I invite on, we'll be able to go, oh, okay, that's what kind of host he is. That's, yeah, but I want someone who's going to be telling us some good information, and we can do it right here inside this, uh, inside the rig here, because it's an RV, so I can call it a rig. Uh, this thing is badass. I'm not kidding you. It has the uh, 454 Chevy engine in there. You can't beat that. It's just be, it sounds like a dream. It runs down the road. I haven't driven it in three years. That's how busy we are because I'm trying to get you this gosh dang show. And it's, it's starting to take off because of you. Okay, so tonight's program, this is great. Usually I'm all huddled up in the office there. But I feel like you're real far away. But don't worry. I got my microphone right here and I can talk to you even though you're that far away. Okay, the, uh, the show tonight is, yes, it's about John. Because John... Uh, I got a couple, but I think this is the one I want to watch first. This is about a day uh, of, uh, not even a day. This is just a morning of uh, of uh, coming in to take care of John. And so now John is in the hospital, as we know, and uh, things are happening. And we miss him very much. So this was just a few months ago. It was about 90 days ago. Things are happening very quickly uh, with John. So after this show tonight... Uh, probably Saturday on a once a week, uh, I will get down there. And so what I have to do this time, because I will try to go live from the hospital last time, not happening. So what I'll do is I'll pre-record and then I'll just go ahead and, and, and run it as a video. Now, I didn't get a chance to put any new videos out for the week, but I, uh, I will get them up by, by Saturday. There's some really cool ones that I came across, but it's been busy, and uh, I, I'm desperately in need of, of putting some new content up. This is this is crazy. You don't know how much time it is just to, to for me, because I'm not an editor per se, and I don't really know this stuff, to get it up for you. It's all I can to, to film a jerky, because I know you guys think, like, God, that guy is just the most jerky there. And that's true. That's how come that Freddy video, make sure you watch that, is, uh, is so nice, because someone else was uh, chilled out, filming it and here i am you know talking engaging i'm a more of a movement type person so it's very hard for me to sit still that's very hard for me to, I, I, i'm not focused on the person i really it took a while a year or so just to be able to feel like that camera was next to me and i really don't treat it the way it's supposed to be treated it is what it is and you get what you get but i slowly will get better anyway uh, i want you to watch this show let's get on with it so i don't bore you too much all right, here we go, guys. Hang on. Put your seatbelts on. This is going to be uh, interesting. Don't back out on this because there's some very important scenes uh, towards the end. So uh, try to stay with it, okay? All right, here we go. Hold on. John this morning and I already got a call from Crystal, his caregiver, uh, that uh, Michelle is parked in front of the house. So she asked me to make sure that uh, she, Michelle doesn't get in. Now remember Michelle's the one that blasted into the back of Ms. Crystal's car because she's all doped up on uh, 
pod and meth and all that. See the back of her car right there? Alright. Now hopefully we'll be able to get a picture of of uh what's her name asleep in here. Doesn't want me to allow uh, Kitty Pie here to um, get in the house and take a shower. Shouldn't want that because Michelle's a loser. She's a pothead and does nothing in her life except for look, right? So not only did she smash the front of her car because she's all stoned out of her head and does nothing in her life. But, uh, she, uh, just mooches off people all day for her life. So they can, you ready? She's all stoned out. And what she does is she just parks as best she can. So that's the front end of uh, smashing into the back of Crystal's car. And then she pulled out onto the street the other day and got rear-ended because she's all doped up. Did I, get, did I get too close for you? No. You're totally fine. I gotta do this wheelchair, so I apologize, but... All good. I am tiny. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, you know, <clears throat> nowadays the, the new rules and laws are such that you can be a dope head and a pot head all day long and, um, and drive around and, and smash into people's car uh, willy-nilly like that, old school. And... Uh, <clears throat> you know, screw up the rest of everyone's life, and they're, you're okay with that, especially in California. That's that's good. But the result is Michelle outside, complete dope head loser that eventually is going to kill someone by smashing her car into. A Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's see if someone's here. Yeah. I hope someone's awake. Yeah. It's 8.30, you gotta get up. Yeah. Uh, Look who's here. Oh, now that's nice. You should have had that a long time ago. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're just now getting you that? Uh, that was a few days ago. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, look at that. Hey, that's different than the other one. That's a wheelchair. Yeah. Is that what the new ones look like? No. They had a choice of getting the the regular kind, but I'm careful. This is more careful for me. But I didn't know I had small wheels on it. I would have got with a bigger one. Oh, you... Uh, yeah. Okay. Got it. Well, this is going to be exciting. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. I called Crystal this morning. Yeah. Uh, so, you're looking good. Oh, you got to get your thing detached. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. This is exciting, John. Yes, it is. Are you ready to go into work and kick some ass? And yes. Not take too many names? Oh, I gotta get this thing laundry first. Alright. What were you watching? Something fun? Um. Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh.
go pull those down. Okay, here we go. It's all you. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Now, I need help. What do I got to do? Grab the handle. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Here? Like right here. Get that. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm ready for some good Listerine. I'm ready to get some work done. Yeah. Half a, half a cup. Yeah. And have the other one ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good for our mouth. Yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, there it is. Down the hatch. Yeah. I wonder what they put in there. I hope something that's not bad for you. Yeah. And you smell fresh all day. Yeah. Well, I brush my teeth in the morning, but I always take a nap after I eat. My teeth get grody again. Grody, I like that word. I turned it off already. Okay. I'm getting, it, I'm getting it right down the right way. Figured it out. Yeah. You ready to do this? Oh, yeah. Well, you have a friend right outside.
Move the wheelchair. Yeah. Take that back. Yeah. Okay. Now move that other foot. Well, we want to turn it. Yeah. Okay. I need to grab the door. And they're pulling me towards you. I want to stand up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. Yep. Same way. And that wheelchair's a lot lighter than a traditional wheelchair. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Turn it. 90 degrees, and then it fits right in. Oh, boss. Good. Smashed in the front, and smashed, smashed in the back. She's a, always high on pills. Oh, she does pills, but she does pot too? Yeah, she smokes pot, and she does these pills she gets on the street. And Crystal told her, you gotta stop taking those pills. Uh -huh. And she goes, I'm not a pill, it's chemotherapy. Well, she's not on no chemotherapy. Wow, chemotherapy. She, she says she has, ah, she washes the car. And uh, she has, says she has mouth cancer. She has mouth cancer, it's going to remove it. You don't get any kind of chemo or anything. She just wants more therapy. But she is on pills. And, And that's leaking, and that big crack there, what the hell did they do to it? It just, you know, everything's got its own story. Yeah, but it's all in the same spot. Whether they do jackknife the thing, and or they wrap it around something and try to pull it out and fracture it every, because that slide out's definitely been caught on something. And uh, you're going to have to go check it out. I'll do the CSI on it and figure yeah. out. Yeah. I want a full story, an explanation, investigation yeah. too. Narcos? 
Pick me up under my arms. Yeah. I'll stand up. Uh -oh. Yeah, that leg has nothing in it. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, this is. Oh, is that your little fish? Do you need your big fish in? No. Kind of, huh? Yeah. Now we gotta get your shirt head up. Picked up. Alright, 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 I'm coming, hold on. Oh, don't tell me you love me. Okay, don't worry, we got it back up. I thought this might happen. So hang tight, hang tight, get ready. Get ready. Here we are. I'm going to change out that battery, because I think I don't have any, uh, that's right, I disconnected it. Damn it. Oh, I was doing so good. Hang tight. At least I got the backup uh, camera here. So give me a second. I'm going to talk while I do some work. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but... Well, that's all right. You don't need to see. Uh, let's see. Whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to get another battery for the other one, right? This is great. You don't get this on uh, on uh, Saturday Night Live shows, whatever, right? Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to change out the battery. So, what's interesting is uh, RC uh, had a good question. Thank you, RC. And that was, right, right, oh, let's see if we got this going. Hold on. All right. There it is. There we go. Hang tight. Okay, I think we're good. Let me try it again. Try it again. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Can you believe it? That's pretty good. And it actually, it wasn't the battery. You know what it was? It was uh, when we went when I went walking around town here inside the rig. I had disconnected the uh, the Lifeline uh, battery chip, so I I uh, took care of that. Anywho. Uh, RC had a great question. It was uh, in the chat there. You see it. It was like, uh, well, who's John? So John is a great part of the company. Uh, he, the smartest guy, uh, you know, after George passed. And uh, so I'll be very brief. Uh, we <clears throat> send signal air, uh, you know, emanate. The show uh, comes to you from rv dr george that's a funny name uh, i'll never change the name of this company but uh we will do more of these companies around the u.s 
and there will be a new name. But people know this company across the U.S., and that's called RV Dr. George. We get calls uh, almost every day from Maine, from uh, North Carolina, from Florida, from Texas, everywhere. And these are people reaching out for hard-to-find parts, which uh, many times we have. So I usually go, you need to come down here and check it out because I don't have time. I'm trying to do a live stream, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, hey, hey, you know, I and, I, and I'm like, where are you calling from? And I go, well, I'm calling from Florida, you know, St. Augustine. Okay, you know, I'll give you a break, and then I'll go look for your part. But if you're not from around here, uh, you get a break. But otherwise, you're from around here. And when you're in California, you have a car. I'm thinking three hours away, you're from around here. And you can go somewhere else, three hours is a long way. Not in California. You, three hours, you're going to you know, get in the car and come down here. So that's how that works. John is a super uh, important part of this operation. Hold on. Hold that tiger. Oh, I want to make sure I'm doing everything right. Uh, looks like it says uh, everything's up. Okay, good. So anyway, uh, he is uh, just just incredible, right? Uh, he knows so much and uh, such a vital part of our service and in-house uh, maintenance operation and service operation and just a go-to guy. He's a straight-up kind of individual. We've shown a, a number of videos of John uh, in the live stream shows, uh, previous or past. And so uh, if you uh, go on some of those, uh, you'll see a few. I'm going to make a lot more. This was just three months ago. That was, the, that was the program. And then you have to do all this again at night. So I'm telling you, that is a workout. I'm not a big guy. I'm not that strong. But you have to be ready. And as you saw, that was he was already starting to drop, right? So you have someone dropping in front of you. And uh, it's a very dangerous situation. Uh, he started dropping here at, at, at the working place. I was like, you can't do that. So I got to get you into a chair. Uh, so we got him into the chair. He's still dropping. So now he's just completely non-ambulatory, right? So he can't move at all. So now he's in bed in hospice at the hospital. Uh, the last I'll show I'll, I'll put in a, a, the latest still one from a pre-recorded session that was last Saturday and again this Saturday you'll see another one here will be a, a weekly check-in so we're losing John okay that's what's happening we're losing uh, the, the, the you know one of the best people we have here uh, John is above all an incredible friend so now this light is just really killing it huh makes me look like a ghost hold on hold that tiger Hold that tiger. Is that too dark? Hold on. Is that still okay? That's better. It's so cool to be in this place. I tell you, I haven't been in this rig, and I'm not kidding, a couple of years. It's just been under a cover out back, and this thing is just badass. So we're losing John, and he's, uh, you know, he's 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 going to another place. You know where he's going. So, you know, he was crying last time we went into the to see him. It's just horrible. It's just a horrible thing. And soon he'll be gone. So you got to make the best of it. So uh, that was a uh, just a typical morning of how it was going. And then after, I could not do it. I, I could not take him and bring him home at night. So the general started to, to come get him at night. I would bring him in the morning. And then physically, it was too demanding on me. I, my back was starting to hurt. Uh, it's almost impossible to be able to, you have to go on an angle to pick him up and then come back i don't have that strength and i was starting to my back was starting to hurt bad i was like i can't do this and so i counted on the general and you i'll show you some videos the, the, the general is extremely strong and so that guy picks him up no problem but he goes no it still hurts my back too bill he goes but i just capable right so i'm telling you it's called a gate belt those things can save you uh if you have a little bit of upper body strength that's what i was having to do i literally uh, and reaching down and grabbing that gate belt and lifting him up like this so that I could put him in a chair. And uh, as you saw, I was struggling. And so he's losing weight all the time. But still, whatever it was, 100-something pounds that he weighs, uh, nothing near what he did weigh. But it's it's, it's hard for me. Uh, and that's dead weight. So, you know, go, go figure. You know, that person, if someone drops in front of you, you got to be able to somehow grab all of them and get them up. And then there's no one around. You're not going to be calling anyone. You have to move just like that. So I was like, this is getting very dangerous. So thank goodness uh, the general's here to be able to help. And he worked in the healthcare uh, 
uh, nursing uh, field for many years, as well as Eden has, and she's a nurse. So uh, it's just it's phenomenal. So Eden's a nurse, and she's an RV nurse. Go figure, right? We're going to let the Philippines know that they've got some competition over here, U.S. style. Better go U.S. style. And uh, she's uh, phenomenal. So she knows about all that, too. And so nurses have to be very careful. Uh, health providers, care providers, uh, nurse assistants, CNNs, all those. I uh, have to be very careful, and I did too. And I'm not even, I'm none of that, right? I don't know what the hell I'm getting into, but I know that he's a friend. He's a good friend, and he's very dear to uh, me. So I'm going to do what I can, other than it's just too much. So that's where we're all with with John. So that I hope that answers the question, RC. He's he's part of the the uh, the company. He's part of our team, and he's a special friend. So, uh, kind of like, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna show him because he he means a lot. This is part of the day, you know. It's tough. We go home to. Uh, I have so much to show, but anyway, that's enough of that. So, oh, we've got a couple other things here. Let me see if I can dig some up for you real fast. Uh, but. I'm not going to get too long-winded tonight. I think we went over two hours last time, and that was a long show. I apologize about that. I kind of get on a, a roll, and sometimes I get a little too uh, uh, vocal, and that's not good. But there are... Uh, I'm going to lose you here for a second while I look something up. I'm going to just uh, stay with you via... Uh, stay with you via uh, voice. Uh, anyway, I'm going to read a couple of the uh, chats. Uh, uh we've got uh, the general who checked in rc good you know who's not here tonight is bus a move remember bus a move guys where's she she's not here tonight oh there she is right there hey everyone uh pick <laughs> nice bus move is uh, checking in thank you we were getting worried about you where you were because you know people back in florida you're three hours plus and you're on the three hour tour so you're ahead of us and uh so it's already getting late so i'm sorry about that and all you know uh fixer what did i say about a fixer i uh, just kind of thinking uh what i was saying uh, john was our fixer right so john fixed everything not much he could do there's a few things he could do and so uh basically he was uh he could handle everything he's an electrician i mean everything right by uh mechanic uh so everything kind of like engineering wise uh, the go-to guy and he was a problem solver above everything you go to him with an i with a, with a with an issue a problem a question he's going to probably have the right answer if not a very sensible one so we're losing a gigantic asset we're losing a gigantic resource and we're losing above all that times two a friend and he is uh dear and so it's just like wow uh we have so many great videos of him fixing things and i'll 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 show that uh, when i can but uh, some of the things that we talked about last time or that i did and you you silently agreed and maybe you didn't agree to it but anyway i'm gonna lose you here for a second probably uh is that or i i won't see you put it this way um is that we have uh, some some things that we're doing that I wanted to uh, stress to you that are important. And one of them is being able to come out here uh, on uh, on property. Now, granted, you didn't get to see property, but I've, I've shown you a couple of times uh, where you uh, can uh, get an idea of what's going on. The yard is just, uh, it's terrible. It's just a mess because we are completely overrun with parts and uh, product. And that's not good, but I need more space. I hate to say no to receiving a lot of product because it, you never know when you're going to need it or when someone asks for it. The thing is to keep organized and to keep it uh, uh, moving, right? You don't want anything to stay on the shelf too long. You have 1%, 2 3% at the most that is going to stay on the shelf. The rest of it has to be moving in intervals. This one and This one stays for three months. This one stays for nine months. This one stays for a year. This one stays for five years. This one stays for 10 years. Well, that equals up your 97%, and the rest of it may never move. We have stuff here probably 40%, which is never going to move. Now, that's not good. So I have to cull. I have to pull. I have to go, okay, weed out. 
that's a very difficult thing because I haven't been able to have segregation and system in place that has everything in its space, etc., etc. Once that happens, then I know how long something's been on the shelf. I can rec I can walk these aisles at night. In 15 minutes, I know everything on the spot. I still kind of do, but there's stuff that's hidden here that I don't even know we have. Now, that's not good. And then the boys are bringing in stuff every day. Well, there needs to be a receiving department, and there needs to be, you know, a, a, a let alone a shipping department, but receiving for this product. And you break it down, and if it's going on the shelf, or to be sold immediately, or it's going into a, you know, the Goodwill has, a, they don't take everything. They may say they do, and then all of a sudden you'll see a truck show up at night, and they haul a big load of that SHIT out of there. It's not going to sell. They know it, and so they get rid of it. So here I am yakking away again. But that was one thing, which was to say we're going to we hit our goal, and that was to get out in the yard, right? Uh, and so uh, that's that's big. So now we're out in the yard, and we are uh, showing signal from out here. So again, we're going to be going into other RVs, other motorhomes, other. Uh, <coughs> rigs right and we'll be able to um show uh things uh from there and uh that's where i'm going to interview some people as well that'll be fun i can't wait that'll be great um and, and so that's that's how that's going to go <clears throat> i'll do probably one uh one time uh a, a week uh, out here okay so the next thing is going to be uh, the the next big goal here is to uh, we have something brewing, and I'm not going to give it all away, but there's something very big that's brewing, and I'm not kidding. This is going to be so big that uh, it's going to be taking me on the road, and so we're going to have uh, road shows. That's important, but it's just a, another way of us being able to to branch out and do more for the greater. Uh, I'm not kidding, Western U.S. Uh, it's tough because we don't have deep pockets and we don't have uh, uh, a, uh, a network really to, to work with. It's all our own. We, we have to come up with everything ourselves. So uh, if we want to replicate this system uh, and what we do, which is uh, one, to provide uh, uh, hard to find used parts to uh, everyone across the U.S. or those who need it. And to provide a a uh, service department for those who are looking for service, and to address the affordable housing crisis, because that, in essence, that's the majority of what I do. I may be selling a part, but I'm like, who am I selling to? Whom am I selling that part, and why? Well, it's to a, a person who's living in their rig, uh, and they can't afford a part or can't find that part anywhere else in the world yeah uh, so that person is in dire need that's how come we were which is just uh don't get me going but you know who is a a a, a required company to stay open during uh, this whole thing with covid because i'm going to stay open regardless i don't care what you say i'm going to stay open i i gotta make a living okay but there are people that need rv parts uh constantly so you have to be available for it so of course we're going to be here but uh to do all three of those services uh if you're a computer programmer if you're a pizza maker uh maybe well it's not a good one because a pizza maker may have a delivery service but now you just use urban or whatever it's called uh uber eats or whatever so maybe you just make pizzas all day or maybe you just write code all day okay fine you ask yourself how many things are you doing a day for that business and you may say well i do one or i may do two so we over here it's not a pat on the back and just to tell you this is a challenging thing i you know what i am pulled away to do this i'm pulling away from my own operation to give you this show because it's so important to me to do that i love you guys i never met you yet but i'm meeting you all and you're all very important because this is what i want to do i want to do this because i have a feeling that this is where the world's going and i need to somehow down the road not from you and not, I'm not asking anyone, but if Google wants to pay me some money for having this show and people want to subscribe to it, well, better, uh, great. 
because I'm going to actually push for that. I'm going to in inquire and I'm going to investigate. I'm going to research. I'm going to put together a freaking show that hopefully you guys give a thumbs up. If you keep giving thumbs down, then I'm going to change it. But I'm still going to go forward because my content of what the day entails or what is entailed uh, is important. And what is it? It's all those things I just got through telling you. Uh, if you know a pizza maker show isn't a bad show there's this guy named jean pierre he's a chef from france but he actually he's out in florida he's got a million or something subscribers this guy is spot on incredible go watch it so here i'm giving him a plug but that's a cooking show and the guy is just phenomenal it's great and he's got it all dialed in i want to get to something like that and it's very difficult but he has a freaking cooking show he does one thing. He makes a recipe up in front of you and cooks it and says it tastes wonderful. Who doesn't love food? Okay, period. Who loves RV? <laughs> right? Uh, maybe a handful of you. So it's like, okay, I have to be very creative because this is my life. I'm not a cook. So it's like, if I want to have a show with a million followers, I'm going to have to do something very kind of spectacular. So again, we service, uh, we, we deal with parts. These people that come in are a hoot. I'm going to be showing you a lot of more content of these characters. And I call them characters because that's who they are. This is some crazy stuff, dude. Uh, people, I'm telling you, you're going to get it. Doing a service job. I had Eden underneath the rig today in nice clothes, busting out a job. Here's a nice you know, lady, nurse, friend, uh, counterpart, partner, busting it out in her regular clothes under there getting the job done and she's like you know asking me some questions you know not like oh i'm i'm pissed off that you're doing this show i'm trying to get ready for this show and here she is doing this thing and i'm going back and forth and you wonder why can billy ever get on time it's nearly impossible this lady was here till six something well how am i supposed to have the show if she's here till six something it's it's now that's my own fault for scheduling it but bust a move here right she's watching from florida she's got to go to bed sometime i've got you know my son up in idaho that's an hour you got a couple other people here across the u.s mugsy's he's over in scotland for crying out loud and he's watching and i don't know what time it is it's in the morning probably but what i'm getting at is i got to show you some really good stuff so that's why we do different things i do parts i do service right we pick up units we we deliver units and now I'm going to be doing something big again. And that's, that's I'm not breaking it to you. Because if it doesn't happen, I hate putting my foot in my mouth. Remember, I told you I didn't mind the taste, but it's starting to go bad. So, it's very challenging, right? I have a lot of operation. Uh, there's a lot of parts and physical things here. It takes a lot of time to be able to uh, dedicate myself to that. I like the computer programmer what do they do they take this or a few uh, flash drives or something and, or they just send it to the cloud and they grab their little fanny pack or their little shoulder pack you know how fucking much my pack weighs it's like 30 pounds you know it's like gosh i dropped an f-bomb sorry about that but at any rate i love it i wouldn't want it any other way but and i think this thing's going to go big because you people are the heart of it and this only way it can is because of you people i was going to throw out another little uh thing here uh, let's see if i could get it uh here's one here so i'm gonna uh play this this is something that john was um this is about oh that's all right we saw one on john already uh, maybe i can get something else here uh, this is he's just such a character i love it um now let's go to uh rvs D uh, sorry let's go to uh some of the videos that were up again i want to just reiterate that there is uh there is a uh the the shows that we do and i try not to duplicate uh, uh sorry i what i do is i um i will edit those out again and and put them up uh for for video you'll see like tonight i probably am not going to put that one up because it's very personal, I want to just show that with us here. But I don't want to put it uh, for the whole world to see. That's kind of a personal thing. But for the most part, uh, the one before with the lady with the purple hair, I'm going to go ahead and post that as well. So you have videos coming up. And uh, those are usually the ones that I have already put out uh, that you see during the night. Okay. Uh, you know, I might just call this here because um, there's all kinds of stuff happening. Yeah. Yeah. You should watch some of these these videos that are that I've been 
putting up if you haven't there's some of them are just beautiful that one in napa uh the paradise one these are just absolutely beautiful um settings uh there's a one that i need to put up i'll just probably put that up tonight uh it's up in the snow we went to susanville when i go to idaho there's just so much snow it's just gorgeous up there um so there's a uh there's just a bunch of, of stuff that I'm trying to to get to you. Uh, I'm just a jabber John here. I'm sorry about that for a second. Sorry about that. Let me, uh, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> it's great. You know, that stolen vehicle is a trip. So I guess the gentleman wants his, his stuff back that he left inside it. But I said to him, uh, you're more than welcome to come here and we'll talk it over, right? Not Not trying to... Be the one, uh, the, you know, I'm better than anyone. I'm not better than anyone. So that's that's how that is. And I uh, just said, hey, uh, come on over. And I'm going to ask. Uh, I got a couple of conditions. I got a couple of questions. And so if you want to talk about it, that's fine. And again, uh, uh, it's just so difficult here in Sacramento. Theft is out of control. Uh, lunacy is out of control homelessness is out of control i uh, just it's no appreciation for anything running red lights uh people beating each other it's, not, it's just it's just terrible here but to stay on a good note it's just to say that that's part of the day is is is, is uh dealing with that as well so that's why i'm looking to uh to some other things so that's why the idaho thing is going to be important okay so I think I think I might just wrap this up here as it is now. We have uh, a setting in here. This is really cool. It's turning out really cool. Uh, the lighting and everything's nice in here. I'm gonna get a couple of guest speakers. I'll be lining them up from tonight forward. So I'm putting the word out. If any of you guys wanna send me a guest speaker or you're in town, whatever, you're gonna be VIP on this show. If you know what I mean. So uh, we can we can have you on the show. But I want it to be substan uh, something substantive, right? Something substantial, something uh, that you gotta, that you can't wait to hear about. So that'll be one thing. And number two is um, we will be going into other units, which is going to be way cool. So not just this one, but other units as well. And then uh, we're going to be doing some stuff uh, on the road, so that will be exciting as well. So those th all three of those things are coming up. Was there something else I wanted to uh, bring to your attention? I think so. Yeah. So I have uh, contacted with a publisher on being able to, she put together a package, uh, some sort of a proposal for me or a quote uh, to getting this next book done. And the next book is going to be called Salvaging America. I'm not really gung-ho about writing, uh, putting it all out there, but we're on a, uh, we do have the capability of doing it uh, fast. And the reason I'm sharing that with you is because the book is a way to, excuse me, I'm always itching my nose. I'm sorry about that. The book is a way to uh, promote this. I've written a book before, no promotion. Hasn't done anything, but it's a very good book and a very good read. But the next one, I don't want it to be wasted time. I want it to be something that's going to be, Look at, there goes Major Tom right now. He just walked by. Uh, it's going to be something that uh, is informative and a bit less DIY and more of, hey, this is a hot topic and this is how it is affecting me and our operation and how I think we can uh, address it, the topic. Uh, it's a kind of an a improper way of defining it, but i just put it out this way. Salvaging America means two things. It's a double meaning. The salvaging America, there needs to be some salvaging of America because it, some of this country is going down the tubes. So I think there needs to be uh, someone who can come in with uh, uh, the ability to save, uh, restore, recycle. Remember all the re's that I like to use? Uh, you know, uh, rehabilitate. And uh, that can happen. Uh, with America and needs to because it's falling apart. And then two, specifically, I'm in the affordable housing crisis mode, mindset, thinking. That's where I like to be. That's my comfort zone. 
and I address the affordable housing crisis via, through, is this great? I'm just throwing these uh, simple words out, nothing too, too fancy, uh, uh, through RVs. Now remember, uh, people kind of keep thinking RV is a motorhome. That's true, it is, but it's also a trailer, and it's also a cab over, and it's also a camper, and it's also uh, a pop up. So it's all those things. But anyway, uh, RVs are a way of addressing the affordable housing crisis, and that is also salvaging, right? We are salvaging units. Watch that, watch that program, the premiere show I had. That's a, a wonderful thing. It costs a lot of time to put that together. That's the 51 minute. Uh, premiere video the first one i ever put up on online uh, first video and uh, it's really cool there's some great stuff in there there's some good characters in there i've tried to reach out to jeff his name is full ray uh he was supposed to be on the the first show of this of this thing here when uh, sorry when we premiered that show and uh he never showed up that night and i've never been able to get a hold of him since he did a uh, claude rains right he just disappeared he went m.i.a all right so he's mia i don't know where he went but uh addressing uh the uh, or salvaging uh these units uh why i do that is to address the affordable housing crisis so in essence i'm salvaging uh, america again uh, i'm doing it through rvs so that's the double meaning and so i think it's going to be very colorful i think it's going to be very uh uh, direct. It's going to be anecdotal, right? It's going to have uh, stories related to my operation. And if you haven't caught wind of how kind of weird, uh, different this show is, uh, that uh, I I am very uh, able, capable, and will put out uh, controversial uh, content. You haven't seen what I'm going to uh, that level yet. It's going to get them. Uh, this is going to be a controversial show down the road. I'll try to keep it within the boundaries that I can uh, so that we don't lose subscriptions, which I've lost a few, uh, But and so I don't get kicked off of any platforms. Uh, but it's to say, I want to push the envelope. I want to push the boundaries. I want to make it so that people are on edge. They don't like it. It's like, well, I'm just raising questions, that's all. Okay? Uh, because you see what I have to go through every day. Uh, and so I get sometimes pretty direct in people's face. If you're going to come in here and waste my time, I'm going to tell them straight out, you need to go or get to the point because I don't want any more. I was that way in my past. I'm not anymore. I've changed. So the number two is like, if you need some help, freaking lay it out. Say, I need help. I'll get to the point right there and I can help you. I don't want to have, I don't need the story. I've, I've already written them all. I heard them all. So anyway that's going to be fun and so uh I'm, I'm very much challenged to do that and i'm thinking i might knock it out but that book has to be part of me being able to propel this whole thing forward and upward same time right that graph needs to that that line that chart that 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 trend needs to be going upward and so there's some sort of dynamic uh there's some sort of a marketing uh uh solution uh a science that says hey you know, the book can be a uh, part of your success in this, sh well, along with this show. Now, guess what? This show is primary. My job every day is primary because I need to survive and I need to keep helping people. And the show comes from the content I collect from helping people. I cannot cut that off. But it gets a little bit dicey with uh, trying to not, not being able to help out today when those guys needed help but it takes me i have to set up i'm serious when i come into work at nine o'clock i'm like okay how am i going to present this show today because i haven't done it the night before and that's not good for you you need you need better prepared content and so <clears throat> right now it's a little limited but once i can get things under and everyone fill in on the service side then i can pull and then i can start dedicating more time here so you know big hug group hugs uh, and uh, kudos and, ki and and faux kisses to everyone out there because uh, and elbow fives because uh, you're all uh, hanging in there. So that book is something that I'm I'm working on as to part of the formula for this success. And so uh, you'll see that. But as much as I want to say, oh, uh, the uh, you know I'm doing uh, uh, the I I need to include the live stream somehow into the book which is possible as i make reference to it and what have you but really it's the other way it's the same way going the other way because this show is going to dwarf anything else 
the show will eventually, hopefully, with you guys, uh, be able, and gals, uh, be able to dwarf this whole company and what I'm doing. The entertainment section, and this is what I wanted to deliver to you tonight from here. God, is that a long-winded freaking thing to finally be able to say what the punchline? So, right, remember, you always got to have the, the, the uh, elevator pitch because some people don't have time to listen to you. Yeah. Okay, uh, the thing is, we have uh, content for documentary, and it's very close. We almost had one uh, done on this. We've almost done an HGTV show, which now I will never probably do. I, I'm just saying it's not where I want to go because they wanted us to do stuff uh, that um, was uh, what they wanted with millennials and uh, blah, blah, blah. I love millennials. That's not the problem. The problem is they want me to do what they want. They're like, hey, Billy, yeah, you, you look kind of crazy. Okay, can you host a show? But we don't want you to do what you do. There's the general walking by. Uh, we want you to do what we want to do. Absolutely. Guess what? Effing and oh, it's going to be what I want to do. Because I think what we're going to do is something fantastic. Right? So if what I'm going to propose, I'm telling you, big plans are coming. Really big plans. It's all going to just go crazy. And I want a TV show from this. We want a cable show. We want to be able to be on Hulu or Netflix and all that. I'm going to push for that. If I have to do our own web series and what have you, fine. I will do that. But we have the capability. Watch that little uh, premiere show of Salvaging America. That's the first one I put up. It gives you an idea of what is capable of here. It's not always my herky-jerky uh, videos. I hire out for quality video, uh, you know, uh, capability uh, and capture. So that's all good. Uh, I think I said enough of all this baloney. You guys are probably like, uh, next. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to say thank you for being here tonight. This is a big deal being able to show you this inside. This is just gorgeous. I don't know. You can see. But, man, I just love it. you got to sit in just that, that whole... Uh, cab there that thing is just way too cool okay so next time what i'll do is i get a longer cable and we're going to get into all the little i'll get it running right and then uh we'll get some uh we'll go around the block would that be freaking great I'm trying to think how i could do that i need a long quarter for going around the block uh, i'm gonna need a uh, we'll have to go uh via the phone that's not going to be so fun but then we'll have to switch as soon as we back because i hate the phone it's just terrible i get everyone's uh blowing up my phone Okay, I think we should just call it there. So we had a great opportunity next time. So the next time we're in the rig here, so next time we go mobile, uh, we will set. We will do a walk around on the outside because it's way cool. And I'll get a long cable so we can go inside and I'll check everything out. We'll start it all up, get the stereo going and all this will be bad. And here it is. Are you ready? You're going to have my word on this. Just like I told you, finally, four months, I said I was going to come from uh, outside, and we did it. Uh, but there's two outsides. I know we're trying to shut you off, but hold on. This is important. We're going to do a little uh, perch inside the crazy warehouse. I'm going to build a platform, and it's going to be way up on this precipice. It's going to be overlooking where there'll be some sort of like fake little plastic chain. And if you fall off, you'll die. I'm not kidding. This place is crazy. So we'll have the we'll have it set up there so we can overlook everything. Then we could have the loudspeakers going and watch the guys work. Would that be too fucking cool or what? I'm gonna watch that the whole time. And if they get too loud, we'll tell them to keep it down. I can't wait. So we'll have the perch. Uh we'll be going in different units, right? We might even we can't do two in one. That's too much. So the next one probably get this one all buffed out, get it all uh, you know pimped out so we get some uh, effects going inside you can see the other areas and then uh the outside and then we'll go to different rigs right and then i'm going to have a guest speaker so that's the goal i don't know if i'll get it for saturday but at the beginning of the week so either for saturday or the beginning of the week i'm going to have uh we'll start having guest speaker i'm going to try the goal man i'm so lightheaded it's crazy the goal will be uh once a week a guest speaker i think that's good hey general <laughs> you just walked by so we'll be uh once a week i'm telling you guys from the first four months of you bearing with me right being tolerant being patient being flexible and then now being able to kick it up go okay now we're going to go 
to rigs, the perch, and the office. Now we're mixing it up every show. So there's three shows. Each one will be in a different area. It takes me a while. I'm not kidding you. It took me three hours to set this up in here because things didn't work. Uh, blah, blah. You don't want to hear the excuses. But that's what it will be. And then, won't that be fun? And then, okay, get it ready. Then, we're going to go drive around in these uh, in the rig. And we'll go to some of the interviews. Oh, God, just I'm telling you, this is a lot of freaking work getting this all prepared. But once we get into a routine, you're like, oh, Tuesdays, he's going to be in the office with the Buddha. Because that's what you all say, I'm sure. You know, whatever. Uh, uh, Thursdays, he's going to be in, uh, this is called the trailer code rig. This is what it is. And when you see all the the, the, the stenciling and lettering and all the, the banners I've found on the outside, that's what this is. This, is, this thing is made to go around the country, uh, book tour and all that. So I'll have to upgrade it with the new book. Well, that'd be badass. This rig is coming to your town. So bus and move and, and Matt and RC, those are the guys that I'll keep keep uh, coming in. Uh, you're going to have to to buy a piece of property to put your RV on and rent them out as affordable housing. Uh, bus and move, thank you. You are absolutely right. Uh, you are right. We've got to have a... Uh, a piece of property. I'm telling you, they're surrounding us and there's so much gosh darn politics based on this homeless problem. I can't even get a piece. I can't get a piece, if you know what I mean. A property of anything. <laughs> so, I can't get that and this sitting fallow with the homeless just drooling over. So, I've offered to purchase both of those properties and, I've, and they don't want to sell. It's just a joke. Anyway, that's enough said. Okay, you guys, I I love you all. Thank you so much. So those are big things, big goals for next time. But we made one of them tonight. So I'm very proud that we were able to actually get out of the office. So that's one. Two, tomorrow, uh, next time. So we're going to go walk around. I know I already said it, but I got to reaffirm it in my head. Uh, the details, finer details inside. And we're shooting for a, a guest speaker. This is going to be off the charts. So, okay, get ready. All right, that's it. I'm done. Anyone else got anything to say? Thank you, Matt. We appreciate you. Taggart, thank you so much. Uh, RC, thank you. Frog, thank you. These are all the people that check in. And you know, all the subscribers that, uh, all the people who are watching that haven't chatted, that's totally fine. I love you very much. I appreciate all of you. Uh, all the recent subscribers, thank you. Hopefully you do get online. A lot of people just like watching. They all look at Jose. Come on, Jose. Come in. But they're all walking by, you guys. Hold on. You never know what's going to be here. Don't cut the cord when you come in. Oh, 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 come no. on. Come on. Okay. What are you doing? You going to Thunder Valley? Yeah, I went to Thunder Valley. Are you going to work right now? Huh? Are you going to work? Yeah, I got time. Is this great? No, leave it. It's hot in here. I know. Come on over. Okay. Can you make it? Yeah. Okay, just for a second, huh? You got a minute? Oh, yeah. Come on, say hello. Hey guys, this is great. This is what it's going to be like. So let's yeah. practice with uh, Jose. He goes, uh, Jose is VIP. Can you make it? Yeah. Make okay, it. get over here. This is great. This is good. So this is for the people who hang in late. Look at, there you are over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> hello, 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 everybody. Isn't this thing, what do you think? It's good. It's nice. It's good. It's good. Not yeah. like yours, but it's all right. No, I have enough room. I'm telling you. Yeah. I showed him around a little bit, but I need longer cords. So I go back into the living, to sleeping and I'm bathroom. Sleeping. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then what I want to do? Roof rack. Roof platform for us yeah. to go live. Yeah. On the roof. Oh, yeah. What do you think? That's good. I'm going to do yeah. the platform. Oh, there. yeah. You say much better. You can watch Jeffrey out on the dirt lot. <laughs> 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 Jeffrey and Jen. You and Jen. <laughs> and Kev, Crazy Kevin. Crazy the rock Kevin, thrower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Huh. Come on, tell everyone, how did it go at the funeral? This is very important. Oh, yeah, I'm going to the funeral. It's very, very what happened? upset because uh, the, the funeral, the, all of his family got there. Uh -huh. You know, grandson, her, her granddaughters, her daughter. Why is it slapping? They're laughing? It's laughing there. It's well, they, they try to keep it. Uh, uh, quiet yeah. have to be quiet or respect to the funeral, you know. Oh, but don't cool. do that. They don't go uh, laughing. No. 
No, yeah. Uh -huh. Hold on one second. So everyone, I know everyone's route ready to sign off. This is really important. Jose had like adopted daddy and mommy here. He has his parents. They're over in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. But he's been here in Sacramento for 40 years. Yeah, 40 years. Right. So they had uh, the older people kind of kind of take him in like son, right? Uh -huh. They're like mommy yeah. and daddy yeah. over here. His second set of parents. And the father, what's his name? For uh, uh, Raphael. Raphael has passed away just a few days ago. He had to go to that funeral, so that's why he's talking about him. Yeah. Yes. And and uh, his wife, he very mad because everybody's laughing, you know, no respect, you know. Yeah. And uh, she said, "Okay." The funeral. She not finish. No, when the casket go down. To oh, the ground. Oh, they lowered the casket. Uh, 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 when, when, when go like this down to yeah, the ground. Yeah. He said, "Yes, put it, put it down and cover. That's it. I don't want to nobody see my, my husband." Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. And she said, "Let go, Jose." I told her, Cesare, you know I want to finish the funeral. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to see nothing." Oh wow. Yeah, and the you know the two guys. Put in the ground. Yeah. They bring it down. To right. The, ground. Uh -huh. the two guys, they uh -huh. lower it down. Uh -huh. Lower it down. He said, uh, you want to keep it more time outside? No. Put it down. Put it down. Oh, my God. I can't imagine this. This is, I never see something like this. Yeah, like this. That's not good. Yeah. Because uh, the, the the people don't don't come in or bring you flowers or... No one bring the flower? Nobody. Oh, this is not good. Nothing. She only one. Uh, she buy one wreath. A wreath. Yeah. Yeah. For two hundred dollars. Oh, I know. Is it ridiculous? Yeah. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. For the casket, it's probably a lot of money. Oh yeah, it's a lot of money. It's yeah. It's a it's a metal. Yeah. Metal casket. Hey, the the viewers here. Uh, can you sing a song? Yeah, I can I sing? Uh, here, what do they say? Here, look at this. You have you have fans, Jose. So the, right here it says. Uh, so S A S said he uh, hello. Bus okay, R C said tell Jose to sing a song. Okay, and then tell Jose sing us a Vincente song. Okay, very good. You yeah. know Vincente. Yeah. Okay, you want to do one? Can yeah, you do I, one? I will do that. Okay. <laughs> you have your uh, mango. <laughs> so they got a mango. He's gonna give you a song. It doesn't get better than this on Trailer Gods, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. What are you gonna okay. say? Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. When I go on song, this is the one. In, in, do we need karaoke? You want me to pull up one? Entre el amor y yo. This song. I love mm. it. I love it already. Entre el amor y yo. Okay. okay. Viene. <laughs> Entre el amor y yo hicimos un acuerdo de amar a la mujer de la mejor manera, de nunca provocar el llanto de sus ojos por ser lo más hermoso que está sobre la tierra. Entre el amor y yo sabemos de placeres Y en nuestra religión, amar a las mujeres. Entre el amor y yo tenemos una historia. Amar a una mujer es conocer la gloria. Nacer de una mujer, con nada les pagamos. Por eso todas ellas... Merecen mis respetos, más lindas que el cielo, el sol y las estrellas, merecen que les cante la rima de mis versos. 
Entre el amor y yo sabemos de placeres y en nuestra religión amar a las mujeres. Entre el amor y yo tenemos una historia. Amar a una mujer es conocer la gloria. Bravo, bravo. Oh, what do you think? Is that good? That is good. Yeah. Oh man, that is great. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Uh, you walk on your walk. So okay, well, let's see. So that's good. That's a yeah. new chapter in uh, you know yeah. in life. Everyone's life. Yeah. Everyone's moving on. Yeah. This is. I don't know. This is. I, I'm very. Um, upset because when somebody is when the funeral is over there is slapping you know no respect yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no 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 talk about this guy or talk about him he's his uncle his father you know she said thank you Jose, for, for coming because i think only only you show up yeah yeah okay yeah and the rest of it Go oh, well, this is slapping, slapping, no talk nothing about the family, or bring the flowers, you know, for him, for Dora, for nephew. Yes. Yeah, she asked him, uh, she better marry jealous to one guy there. He said, when I need you, when he needs you, you never come help, help you him. No. And Jose, he helped to me, put in the bed and everything. He is the good friend, mm -hmm. you know. But he talking, she talking about me, because you say, you know, you why why are you coming now? She he's died already. She no he don't need you anymore, you know. Mm -hmm. He's died. You come and see, you when he's alive, you have to come and before he died, see him, you know. Help you, you know do this for him, you know. He said, you never, never come, you get out of here. She, she said that? Yeah, like, oh my gosh, at the funeral. Yeah. Hey. She said, you get out of here. You, 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 you don't need to stay here. No. I don't need you anymore. Oh. And the, like, the guy, he said, oh yeah, it's true. And he leave. No, he's still there. Oh, he's still there. He sure. never left. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Well, that's a big deal for uh, Jose. Uh, it's, again, his uh, his adopted dad, or second dad. Yeah. Uh, daddy just died. Yeah. So pass away. Yeah. yeah. Pass away. All right. Well, we got to wrap this up. We just wanted to thank you for walking by. I'm gonna go ahead and let everyone uh, get going for their night. Okay. I hope so. Everybody, be happy. Is that? Yeah. Give us some words of uh, what would you say? Just uh, what are your good words for us? What do you say? Oh well, for me, uh, I like it. Everybody stay happy. The families stand together, you know, have to be together anytime because the family together have more power. Oh, very nice. Jose. I like this. Yeah. The family together have more power. Have, have more, more, more power. Nice. It's true because, uh, you know, yeah. the, the family, hey, you know, have one dollar. Yeah, I have one dollar. One dollar, one dollar. You make it maybe twenty hundred dollar. you know? Because the family is still together. Yes. Yeah. It more make it more power. I remember I worked uh, at a car sales lot once, uh -huh. and some people, some Hispanic customers would come in, and then you'd tell them what the price is, mm -hmm. and they would make a couple of calls, uh -huh. and all of a sudden they go outside, a car, would, a friends would show up, uh -huh. and they would get the money shows up oh yeah the money shows up yeah it's just uh, as a whatever 10 15 20 thousand yeah. dollars he may only had five or ten and then if the money comes within minutes yeah that's how fast yeah it's fast too. and that's the family coming together yeah. to make it happen yeah is it happy so i was very impressed how yeah. they have the ability to network and there's a good strong family yeah it's yeah he's yeah. okay you know, yeah. uh taking uh, maybe I buy me something. Okay, uh, I'll give it to you. Don't worry. Yeah, it's taking the car. You know. Oh, that's that's it's, very it's generous. Yeah.
All right, so you're working tonight up yeah. at Thunder Valley. Yeah, I'm working. Tonight. Look at that. Yeah. Look at look that up on the map. I opened up that casino. It's amazing. Uh, that's a pretty incredible casino here lo locally. It's an Indian uh, type casino for California. So you know, that's the only legal type of gambling here in California, other than the lottery. Uh, then uh, Jose works there. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. Well, he has some interesting stories about the people there. <laughs> we'll leave that for another show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Our next show, I want you to tell some stories from. The oh casino. yeah, these funny stories. Oh, what that. you what he sees, you don't want to even hear. It's it's too bad. <laughs> okay, everyone, is that good? Yeah. Okay, let's let's say good night for tonight. All okay, right. Okay. Good night, let's, let's everybody. Say, all right, everyone. Thank okay. you. Oh, Thomas checked in too. Okay, thanks, guys. And uh, remember, we'll be having big things for uh, next time. So thank you so much. Yeah. Please uh, share if you can, like us, and uh, tell everyone about us. And uh, if you need to reach out at all, it's at trailergodslive at gmail.com. And then I will look to see you uh, very soon. All right, Billy O'Neill with Trailer Gods, along with Senior Jose. Yeah. All right, have a great night.